Welcome to Blessed Mess. This is about sports stuff, mugs, and vintage electronics. All these items we found at a Goodwill somewhere. First item is an Ohio State's Buckeyes Vintage Piggy Bank. And uh, this is super cool. It's about uh, almost 10 inches long, 5 inches tall. It's a good size piggy bank. It's ceramic. It is vintage. It's got those felt uh, on its feet. Uh, there's a little felt, green felt on its feet and uh, it's in really good shape no chips or anything great buy I always buy stuff that if it's Ohio State or Alabama or Clemson or uh, USC big sports teams I always pick these up here's the Cincinnati Reds helmets it's uh, one of those Leish uh, baseball plastic helmets it's from the 90s the reason I know it's from the 90s is I'll show another picture of the uh, the back of the helmet here in a second but I know it's from the 90s because it's from Craft Kids Club that was something that was like from like 1992 um, so this is a really old helmet picked this up at a Goodwill I think I got it for like three bucks listed for 25 but this is not this is a uh, it's got that lace uh, headband on the inside this is 1969 um, that's when it was patented so um, but when I saw this on the back I knew it was vintage I also found this Franklin football helmet uh, these are like a youth football helmet it's got the little bit of foam on the inside it's not made for contact or anything it's just made for a kid to go to the base go to the football game or uh, uh, and just to hang out with at home um, so and just play with so um, I got this on auction got an Air Force mug you can see how understated I am I just said Air Force mug um, I was in the Air Force so I listed the price for 1947 that's when the Air Force was started and uh, 1947 this was made in the USA mug it's a tall mug no chips nothing wrong with it um, I took off the sticker off the bottom and it says made in the USA I actually think it's made in Tennessee um, it's a high quality mug above and beyond here's another find that I got for a couple dollars at a Goodwill it's a Sony um, landline phone you can put it on a wall you can put it on a desktop it's in perfect shape nothing really wrong with it it's it's really dark green my pictures didn't come out so well but these list from uh, 20 to 25 bucks I got it listed for 14 just to kind of see if someone's gonna pick it up and I just listed it this week great phone for a sports fan Packers Celtics that kind of thing this is uh, my vintage electronic stuff that I found um, at a Goodwill just in a you know in a bin um, this is a Apple works version 6.1 software it's like you know the Microsoft suite type of thing that Apple had back in the uh, late 90s or in the 90s into the 2000s this is a 2001 version it's complete it has it's never been opened um, I opened it up just to see if everything was in there and that's it here's something called the G4 PowerBook yo-yo this is a power adapter it's still sealed in the original box with the foam with the power cable it's for a, a power book which is you know just a laptop I saw these in a bin um, with the boxes. The boxes are worth like 10 bucks a piece. Um, so whenever I saw that, I knew that I was looking at something that was worth something. Um, they're really easy to look up. The other ones that are listed are listed for, you know, 80 bucks. I'm $20 under anybody else. Um, and if you have a old G4 power book and you want the original yo-yo, uh, power adapter there it is it's still sealed in the plastic um, I think it was just a great find to find that I paid up for it but um, I did find this at a Goodwill and with any kind of Apple products I am really um, you know it's it does you well to look for Apple products even if it's like from the year 20 10, you know or 2000 or whatever here's another power button g4 rechargeable battery it didn't look like it had ever been used it was still in some plastic but it wasn't sealed 
but it never looked like it was ever put in the in the battery port on a laptop because it had no scarring on it um, it didn't even look like it had ever been used um, this is the box and then I got a picture of the actual battery you can see my wife is holding this and you know that's it's got the little uh, you know for the year 2000 that's pretty high tech to have the little uh, the battery lights there to see if it's uh, if it's fully charged or not and so uh, yeah whenever I see Apple old Apple stuff I pick it up um, typically it sells or people are asking me questions it's got lots of watchers or whatever so I, I really like picking up Apple products another vintage item that I found was this Seiko Melodies in Motion clock it's a Svartsky crystals it's a 2006 collector's edition these things are like 175 200 240 um, all the little people move it's got a it's got um, different songs that it plays on the hour if you just want to push the button at the bottom it will play songs but it's got songs by Elvis Presley and the Beatles so um, we listed it um, at a good price um, it's in perfect shape Someone just put it on the shelf at Goodwill and I saw it and I ran over to it. Um, it still has the stickers on it and um, it's in perfect shape. Um, not my style, but I know that other people love these and uh, really like watching little figures move. Now, um, I wanted to throw in this um, book on this uh, video. It's by Eudora Welty. If you don't know who Eudora Welty is, she's a Southern author. She was born in 1909. She died in, in, uh, in 2001. Um, she's an awesome writer. If you ever get a chance to pick up one of her books at a Goodwill or at a library or wherever you want, if you want to buy this book, it is an awesome book. It's, uh, it's really character driven. So you know all those movies where the whole family comes to the South and they they meet and they have a you know everybody's cracking on each other and being lively and uh, having fun and there's always a you know a newcomer in the mix on the smooth that's a Eudora Welty novel you know or short story she was an incredible writer uh, she was a civil rights activist she cared about people and um, I just, I really enjoyed her work whenever I was in college. I just fell in love with her work. And whenever I see a Eudora Welty book, I pick it up. She's a Pulitzer Prize winner. She's a, she's a Presidential Medal of Honor winner. Um, so Eudora Welty is somebody to look for, look for. I just love her work. If you ever get a chance to pick up her stuff, do it. Um, you know, Flannery O'Connor, Eudora Welty, Faulkner. I put them all in the same boat. Um, they're just incredible writers. And uh, a lot of Eudora Welty's work can be found at a Goodwill. You can find signed stuff by her because she lived until 2001 and she signed a lot of stuff. So if you find one of her original books from um, the 70s, look in it and see if she signed it. Philippians 1 9 says and this is my prayer that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight so that you may be able to discern what is best and what may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. I'd like to pray for you. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything you've given us. Whether we're having a bad day or a good day, Lord, we give you all the glory for today. Lord, we just we just come to you to pray for discernment that we know what to do and when to do it. That if you've got someone that's hurting or sick or just feeling pain, that 
they can seek you and be relieved of that pain. I pray for everyone that doesn't know your name. In Jesus Christ I pray. Amen. Follow God's example, therefore, as dearly loved children, and walk in the way of love, just as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us as a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God.